Thank you so much for returning to my YouTube channel. My name is Ronalyn Nightfall, and for all my new subscribers, aloha and welcome. So if you went ahead and read the description bar and saw the thumbnail, yeah, she's talking about some clutch bags, okay? She's talking about some clutch bags, okay? So it's the last Saturday in December. Can you both believe that? Where did 2017 end up going? I have no idea. Okay, so we're gonna jump into some clutch bags and then I know you're like, what's going on with some of these masks? I wanted to know your opinion on which mask I should go ahead and wear. So being that I'm uploading this video on the 30th, it gives you two days, darling, to go ahead and give me your interpretation. So for those of you who are making a comment down at the bottom, in the comment section go ahead and let me know which one so now if you're watching this after i went ahead and uploaded it happy new year happy 2018 but let me go ahead and show you darling this is a clutch bag i'm going to be using because i got so confused because i have so many clutch bags so this is a clutch bag darling we're going to be using mm -hmm. okay so do you know this girl had to go ahead and have a little bit of bling if you've been following me from last year, you know that this girl has just a few clutch bags. Let me go over a few of the clutch bags. Then we're gonna jump right into the mask. But let's go ahead and get a little bubbly. No, this one has water. No, she's not drinking, because if not, this video would be like two hours long, and I don't think we want it to be two hours long. So let me go ahead and grab some water, and then we're gonna jump into some clutch bags. So before we go ahead and jump into some clutch bag, a lot of people tell me that they really don't have a clutch bag. They don't know what's the purpose of having a clutch bag. So to me, the whole purpose of having a clutch bag, and I'm gonna show you just a plain black one right here. This one has some roses, fabric roses in the front. Very simple, very slender, very roomy. This one comes with a strap black if you want you can probably go ahead and change it up to silver i like to go ahead and use the strap so i'm able to go ahead and put it around my shoulders because this girl has her house this gift and i want to have my drink in one hand as i'm probably walking into someone's house and probably my hostess gifts so i want to go ahead and make sure that it probably has some type of strap so this one is the first one i want to go ahead and show you but what's really nice is that you don't have to worry about wearing your standard big bag. So for those of you who wanna go ahead and still take a regular bag, I'm not saying that you can't go ahead and take a regular bag, but I think, I'm a mama with thumb, girl, you need to go ahead and invest into a couple of clutch bags, darling, because it looks kinda sexy and classy. Plus, if we're going out to a special event, whether it's an anniversary, whether it is New Year's, whether it was Christmas, Valentine's Day is coming up. Okay, well I know, I'm still in 2017 and this girl's already talking about Valentine's Day. But maybe it's your anniversary, maybe it's a special event, maybe it's a wedding. I don't like having to take a big bag because I like to go ahead and just be able to place this on the table and not take up too much room. So this is the first option, this fuzzy little black option that we have right here, darling. This one is very simple. I think it's very classy. There's no bling. I know. I still go ahead and use it even though it doesn't have any bling because I think it looks very classic. There we go. I want to go ahead and give you a view of what it looks like. There's like rosettes on it. That's the first one. Okay, that's number one. Number two is, you saw this when I was doing my video about wearing a white patent leather white slender i'm going to be listing if i can remember where i actually got this from i'm going to be leaving it linked all in the description bar or a couple of sites where you can go ahead and get a couple of clutch bags that you think you might like that might suit your personality and your wardrobe so i have not just one of these but two because white is my favorite color so we have patent leather white simple and if I wanted to I can always go ahead there's a small little um, pin mark you can't really see it on camera but I like to go ahead and put a brooch right here if I need to go ahead and bling it up I'll go ahead and attach a brooch or a pin right there but right now I don't have it on so this is just a plain white patent leather uh, clutch this one is very simple very classy if 
I wanted to go and wear white slacks, even though I have a black dress on today. You can go ahead and use this, darling. Very, very classy, very, very simple, not that blingy. This one is actually in black. This one, I think I probably got it from Payless Shoe Stores when they actually had this on clearance. That'll be a good time for you to go ahead and pick up a clutch bag for yourself after the holiday season or when they have a sale. You can go ahead and invest into something like this. And now, if we're looking for a punch of color because we have some red lips, which is actually from Melania Moore Lip Cream, we can get with a patent leather uh, red clutch. This is very simple. Something like the white one, but in red. So this one is a patent leather, I feel like Vanna White, to go ahead and wear a red patent leather clutch. I think this one is absolutely sexy. This gives you a great punch of color for New Year's, darling, or any time of year, or actually for Valentine's Day. I'm probably gonna use this for Valentine's Day. Use it for Christmas, use it for Valentine's Day. Go ahead and use it for New Year's. So this is the secondary option that you can go ahead and invest into a punch of red, but with no rhinestones or pearls. This one is very classy and sexy. I'm looking at my monitor here, and it seems like it's coming across a little purple, but it's actually a royal blue with some rhinestone detailing on the inside. This is how roomy it is, and you're gonna be able to fit a lot of items because, uh, yeah, you just can. So blue, royal blue, might be your option. Now let's go ahead and jump right into some bling items. Okay, so if you went ahead and followed me from the beginning of YouTube, you know this girl had to go ahead and invest into some of these smaller blingy clutch bags. This one is a little smaller, but it has like built-in jewelry, I would say. So if you wanted to go ahead and maybe wear maybe just some rhinestone earrings, maybe not dangle, and maybe use your clutch bag as your accessory, darling. You can go ahead and do so. If I can find a link on this one, I'll be leaving it down in the description bar. This is another favorite item that I have. And this one is in red. So this one has a little bit of gold and silver in it. This one is red with just pure rhinestones. I'm gonna have to hold it a little far because the camera's like, girl, that's like way too much bling in there. It's pretty roomy. Go ahead and open up the top. And this one actually has a gold chain on the inside. So you can go ahead and hang that around and hook that. Oh, actually, this one actually has two chains. This one actually has a shorter chain, which I always leave on the inside, and it actually comes with a much longer chain, so you can go ahead and put that over your shoulder. I keep that on the inside. This one has a little gemstone on the top. It has a magnetic clasp. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. I was split between having to wear this one, this one. So let me know, red or black? Red or black? Because I can always go ahead and change my mind. This one is full with stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I would normally go ahead and carry to a party. So let's clear off this area right in front of me, darling. And this is what the bag actually looks like rhinestones the back is actually plain i think this one was from amazon if they don't have it i'll be finding a duplicate for you darling so what do we actually have in here the first thing is a phone because we need to keep in touch with the teenagers just in case somebody's texting me so my phone in fact if i go ahead and i put my phone right next to that you'll be able to figure out what size this clutch bag actually is so that's the phone and the next thing we have in here is my compact. This one is from CoverGirl. There's a mirror in here. This is a pressed powder foundation, so I don't have to worry about carrying around a loose powder to go ahead and touch up my makeup. This one actually has one of those little powder pops on the inside, so I can go ahead and touch up my makeup. The next thing I actually have in here is some blotting sheets, so that way I can go ahead and blot first the oil on my face and then go ahead and touch up with my powder. I also have some cash. We also carry our insurance card, just in case something happens, you'll need to make sure that you're prepared. You have all of your insurance and your ID or anything, so God forbid if something was to happen, people know who you are. 
Also, I'm going to be blocking. This is my driver's license, Hawaii on the top, Hawaii driver's license. That's me, mom, with my cross pen, Silva. I don't write down everything just in case somebody wants to give me their information. I have that. Also, I have an atomizer, atomizer, atomizer. There we go. This one is my perfume, small enough to go ahead and carry. I think I found this on Amazon. I know they go ahead and carry either at Ulta or Sephora, but I thought it was kind of too expensive. So this is actually a dupe because I didn't want to go ahead and spend $10. This one was like, I think like under $3. If I can remember where I found it, I'll be leaving that down in the description bar. If I need to touch up, darling, with a little bit of uh, perfume, I can go ahead and do that. Carry a small amount. Also, I have my lipstick and this one is from Chanel. This one is Chanel 452. I'm gonna be leaving the, the name right here because I don't wanna, I always have a hard time pronouncing some of the names. And this is a gorgeous red color. Let me go ahead and swatch that for you. Ooh. So I figured, hi, hey, why not go ahead and carry my sexy little Chanel lipstick and put that into my clutch bag. Put everything back in, it ends up fitting. And voila, this girl has everything in her clutch bag. So that is what is actually in my clutch bag along with some of the other clutch bag designs because I know that as I started filming during the month of December, I said, I know I needed to go ahead and film what was in my clutch bag. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what was actually in my clutch bag so you have a better idea of what you need to go ahead and carry darling if you think that i've missed anything in here just go ahead and leave me your comments down in the comment section so i wanted to go ahead and share with you some masks that i actually have that i've invested into over this last couple of years so that way if you want to go ahead and wear a mask for new year's or if you celebrate Mardi Gras and you want to go ahead and invest into a mask, you can go ahead and do so. So let's start off, I think, probably with one that Jim would go ahead and wear. Let me go ahead and show you which one he would go ahead and wear. Okay, so this one is for Mr. Jim. There we go. Very simple because the guys don't like wearing bling. But if you want to go ahead and add a few feathers onto it, you could always go ahead and do so. So this would be his mask that he would go ahead and wear. It looks a little bit more manly. We not just have one, but we have two. So that would be for Jim. Now I do have some lace masks. If I wanted to go ahead and wear something a little bit more simple, because maybe I don't want to wear something a little bit more blingy, I actually have this one right here. You can go ahead and strap this around your head and fasten it over to the other side. Now if you want, you can go ahead and swap that out with an elastic band so that way it'll just end up staying on your face. So this is what this one actually looks like. Ooh, very simple. I think I would be able to go ahead and use this one throughout the whole night with the black dress, even with the rhinestones and not have to worry about having feathers. So I went ahead and invested into this. It's very lightweight. It's not gonna be leaving a mark on my face. This one is very inexpensive. If I can remember the link, I'm gonna be leaving that also down in the description bar. So the first one is a very lightweight um, lace mask. You can also go ahead and roll this up like this and probably put it into your clutch bag. So the reason why I invested into this one is because if I do get tired of wearing the mask during the night, I can always go ahead and take it off, roll it up and pop it directly into my clutch bag. The second option is something that's a little bit more stiff. This one is actually in metal. It does come with an elastic band on the back. Let me go ahead and try this one on for you really quick. There we go. That's what that one actually looks like. Ooh, kind of sexy. Mm, what do you think? The first one was the lace. This was the second one. This one has a little bit of red, so I think if I did that, you have the options of maybe adding a little bit of red for gloves. I did that one here. Or probably using maybe a red clutch bag. So that would be the second option being that there is some red rhinestones. Let me go ahead and take up this one and pop on another one. Okay, this is the next one that we actually have here. I think I actually used this one for Halloween at the last um, place of employment that I was at. And then I went ahead and used a red... Uh, 
gloves that actually match the color and a red clutch. And I think it probably had a red cape. This one I actually used for Halloween, but this one is very festive. Yeah. And it's elastic, so you can go ahead and just pop that right off if you need to go to the bathroom or take a break. And this is what the back actually looks like. So that one is in red and it has some uh, rhinestone detailing around um, the eyes. That one's actually very comfortable. And voila, look at that one. That one actually sticks out a little bit more in the side. So if I wanted to go ahead and wear maybe a blue gown, I can go ahead and do that or a blue top. I can go ahead and do that. Maybe still keep the earrings. Now you see that the uh, lace is sticking out on the back. So this one has blue and gold. So if blue is more of your option, you can go ahead and invest into that one right there. Okay, so the next one is in red. This one has feathers. Look how cool this one is. Let me go ahead and pop this one on for you really quick. Ooh. What do you think? Kind of funky, 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 funky. There we go. Maybe with a red dress or gold dress. What do you think? That would be another option for the New Year's. There we go. This one I like it because it kind of had the flower, kind of to me has a little bit of a Hawaiian theme. Um, I have my red lip. I'll probably wear it maybe with some red gloves and I'm actually ready and I can still wear it with the long black dress that I actually have on because there's actually a black um, right behind this flower right here. So that would have been an option. Of course, you know, this girl had to have you know, just a little bit of bling. This one is just rhinestones. Look at this one right here. Let me go ahead and pop that one on. It's slightly heavier. There we go. So I like this one. The ribbon actually hangs in the back. If the ribbon is actually black, so it kind of blends into my hairline, but I think that this one is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. You can go ahead and still wear your um, makeup because it's not interfering with my makeup around my eyes. So I wanted to go in and share with you all of the masks that I've invested into over this last couple of years. Go ahead and let me know which one is your favorite. I think this rhinestone one is absolutely gorgeous. So now, if you go ahead and have the mask, go ahead and invest into some gloves. I actually have gloves that are actually in gold and red, and I got the gold ones, I think maybe two years ago when I got dressed up where I was employed at, because I wanted to go ahead and coordinate that with the red mask. So that will be another option, and I'll be leaving the gloves and the link if you wanna go ahead and buy these down in the description bar. So now that I went ahead and showed you my mask and my clutch bags, go ahead and let me know what mask and clutch bag I should go ahead and wear for the New Year's. So my name is Bonnie Lynn Nipo. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so by clicking on that subscribe button. Don't forget to click on that notification bell because that's what's going to keep you abreast of all the videos that I go ahead and upload on a weekly basis. But what I want you to go ahead and do is to go out there, be bold, be beautiful. Don't forget to dress up. And all the way from Hila, Hawaii, my name is Ronalyn Naipo. Aloha. Happy New Year, guys. See you next year. Bye-bye.